Seems to be somehow calling to me from this strange new world above. Steady as she goes, boys! Windward ho! A ship! I'll tell you the tale of the bottomless blue and it takes us to ho. Brave sailor, beware for a big and so ruined mysterious fathoms below. Fathoms below! From which wayward westerns we flow Where Triton is king and his merpeople sing In mysterious fathoms below Isn't this perfection, Grimsby? How care where the seas meet the sky Surrounded by nothing but water Oh yes, it's simply delight <laughs> The salt on your skin and the wind in your hair And the waves as they ebb and they flow we're miles from the shore, and guess what? I don't care. As for me, I'm about to heave ho! To the line! I'll sing you a song of the king of the sea, and, and it's hey to the starboard heave ho! The ruler of all of the oceans is he in mysterious fathoms below. King of the sea, why that's nothing but nautical nonsense. Nothing but a superstition. The king of the ocean gets angry, and when he gets angry, beware. I'm telling you, lad, when King Triton is mad, how the waves will rock, rock to and fro. Hold on, good, good luck, luck as down you go. What is that? Do you hear something? My lord, please, enough seafaring. I've got to get you back to court to honor your father's dying wish and take up his crown. I suppose I don't want his crown. You'd forsake his kingdom? All of his treasures? Treasures? <laughs> you mean like this? Who needs it? <laughs> we drink straight out of the bottle, don't we, boys? Yeah! For this? Not when we've got the sun and the moon to light our way. <laughs> For this? No thanks. I'd rather eat with my bare hands. <sighs> You're a prince, sire, not a common sailor. Common? These men are anything but common. They're free, Grimsby. Truly free. They don't have to answer to anyone but the sea. Unlike me. I'd rather be a sailor than a prince. Any day. This is where I belong. Everything seems more real. Here, strange how at home I feel here, and the tide's swift flow. And when the pool is strong, I almost think I hear the sea, wild and free, calling me from fathoms below. There it is again! We ought to have back to shore, Your Majesty! Indeed we should! Not while I'm captain. Now follow that voice to the ends of the earth, if you have to. Aye, aye, captain. There's mermaids out there in the bottomless blue, and, and it's hay to the starboard depot. Watch out for them, lad, or you'll go to your ruin, mysterious fathoms below. Haven't you ever been to the surface before? Yeah, sure. Me and the other fish in my school, we come up here all the time. Is that so? Sure. We're not scared of sharks or boats or fishermen. What's a tumbucket? Are those for real? You are afraid, aren't you? No, I'm not. 
I'm here, aren't I, with you, Flounder? You're looking a little green. It's reflection off the water. That sort of thing happens up here. Guess what I found today? It was floating in the wake of a giant ship. Treasure? I'll say. Look. Oh, cool. Haven't you ever seen anything so amazing in your entire life? What is it? I don't know. Yeah, speed. Chuck. Ow, tattooed. <laughs> Chuck. Landing gear. Clear the runway. Hello, Ariel. But I know just who to ask. <laughs> hey, Scuttle, look what we found. More human paraphernicular, right? Oh, you've come to the right board. I happen to be an expert on that very speciality. Can you tell us what it's for? Oh, this is rare. Ridiculously rare. And in sustained condition. What? What is it? It's a dingle hopper. A dingle hopper? They commonly used in saloons, yes, of the beauty variety. You see, humans like to wear their hair in tails. Pony, pig, duck, it's all the same to them. A prim here and a twirl there and voila, a pop adorable. And all thanks to the dingle hopper. I'll give you two sand dollars for it. Scuttle, no. I'm telling you, kid, on the open sea, you won't get more than a few clams. I'm not selling it. I'm saving it for my collection. Fine. How's about a swamp? I got something stupilicious. Museum quality, really. A bandit, bulbous, smurf brat. <laughs> Second cousin to the tuba. It makes music? Oh, sure thing, kid, and I ain't just blowing smoke. <coughs> Why it makes music so fantabulous, so absolutely marvelous. Music! Oh no, the concert! Oh my gosh, father's gonna kill me! The concert was today? I completely forgot. Come on, Flounder, and thank you, Scuttle! You change your mind and you wanna sell, you gotta call me first, you hear? Huh? Benevolent Smurfolk, creatures of the deep, today marks a special anniversary. For many years ago, our fa my father gave me the kingdom, and I banished the sea witch Ursula forever. <laughs> and so, let us celebrate our victory. And in honor of the occasion, may I introduce our Master of Ceremonies. Presenting the court composer, Horatio, Thelonious, Ignatius, Crustaceous, Sebastian. Morning to y'all. And so, tell us, what have you in store? Oh, I've prepared a very special piece, sire, just for the occasion. And it's going to be sung by none other than your seven lovely daughters. I wrote this little piece for my star pupil. Oh, and who might that be? Your youngest, Ariel. Oh, such a voice, that child. Not as clear as ice, pitch as pure as water. Why haven't heard such magnificent sound since, since, well. Since her royal highness. May she rest in peace. You're going to be a proud papa. You'll see. If only she'd show up to rehearsals once in a while. <laughs> Let the merriment begin. Oh, we are the daughters of Triton, great father who loves us and named us well. A Quadra, Andrina, Arista, Athena, Adela, Alana, and Ariel. In concert, we hope to enlighten the hearts of the bird folk and music swell. A Quadra. Go, go again. <laughs> 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 
Again, child. Oh. Ariel! Where in the name of Poseidon has that sister of yours gone? My apologies, sire. That, that child is going to be the death of me, swimming when she should be singing. If I had that solo, this would have never happened. That girl is angling for trouble. I say give her the hook. Fish puns. Aren't we better than no, that? No, no. I love all my daughters equally, <laughs> and now Oh, it's... please. That answer is as Candace Tuna and twice as oily. Arista's prettier than Ariel, Adrina's smarter, Alana's sweeter, Atina's older, <laughs> and Adela. Well, let's face it, Daddy, you're the only male attention Adela's ever gonna get. <gasps> what do you have that Ariel doesn't? Naked ambition and willingness to kill. All right, that's enough. <laughs> One son, Sebastian. Is that too much to oh, hope for? Oh, please, I don't. Just don't go pointing your pappy's trident at me, huh? Sorry, Sebastian. <laughs> Might go whipping up a hurricane by mistake. <laughs> well, look what the catfish dragged in. Daddy, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Ariel, young lady. I just forgot, that's all. As a result of your careless Careless and reckless behavior. The entire celebration was ruined, completely destroyed. This concert was going to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Sebastian. And now, thanks to you, I'm the laughing stock of the entire kingdom. Uh, yeah, we gave up a date. Uh, with the whale of a guy. I don't think backup for anybody. Mama loves me best, but she's gone. Do you mind? <laughs> You've been given such a gift. I know. It's my mother's voice. It's a wondrous talent, one that demands stewardship and care. So please, Ariel, for the sake of her memory. I will. I promise. It wasn't even Ariel's fault. That know-it-all seagull kept going on and seagull? on. Seagull? Seagull, you went up to the surface? Nothing happened. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians, one of those humans. They're not barbarians. They're dangerous. Traps and harpoons. Ariel, like it or not, you are my youngest, my baby, and so I worry about you the most. I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live under my reef, you'll obey my rules. If you would just listen to me for once. You are not to swim up to the surface again. Understood? You're so unfair. Heaven help me. She's headstrong, willful, stubborn as a barnacle. That teenager, Sire, you know what I say. Give them an inch, they swim all over you. I can govern a kingdom, but I can't control my own daughter. I was too harsh. She'll learn to fear me. I don't want that. She needs her mother, Sebastian. And so do I. If only she were here, she'd have the words to say. She'd firmly and yet gently help the girl to find her way. She'd know what to forbid and what we must allow. She'd have the strength and patience that I lack somehow. Oh, what I would give to have her back right. Now, now, sire, it's... Difficult, sire, but you gotta toughen up, not melt down, for, for Ariel's sake. I'm telling you, that child needs constant supervision. Someone to watch over her every move and keep no. her out of trouble. Right. Someone to safeguard her every move. Her every doggy paddle. Her every side stroke. Her every dive. And you are just the crab to do it. I am just the crab to do I'm, I'm just... Uh, huh? You heard me? From this point forward, Ariel is your responsibility. My responsibility, uh, no, but, but Sire, she's a clever mermaid. I'm, I'm just a crustacean. Uh, surely he couldn't have chosen somewhere else higher up on the evolutionary scale? Mistress of the deep. Beauty of the bride. You should have seen it. 
All those merfolk singing tribes and praises, cursing your name. Declaring a national holiday. Holiday, my blowhole. It was the day my brother tried and got greedy, that's all. The day he stole my half of the kingdom. To think, his very own flesh and blood. And he double-crossed you. His own sister. Casting you into exile, a life of shame and unceasing solitude. Into the shadowy depths of a serpentine sea. All right, all right. Don't blow your fuses, boys. Should have been mine. All mine. When Daddy Deer was floating on his deathbed, he divvied up the kingdom into two. I had his magic shell and half the sea as well. His try and win too. Well, you know who his try and win deserves to be. My rain, why it was blissfully delicious. And glamour, glitz, and style were off her eyes. Did I use some black magic? Well, oopsie, my bad. Did I mutilate, maim, and destroy? Just a tad. And for that, I get banished. For me, I'm not mad. There's just one little thing that I want. One eensy teensy thing that I want. I want the good times back i want those grand old days i want the twists and nights the sick delights the wild soirees i want those trembling crowds of shellfish cracked and peeled for me to dine not because i mean or selfish no i only want what's mine i want disgusting wealth I want exquisite sin, want the entire sea to worship me on bended fin. I want to greet my loving subjects and then have them as snacks. Remember those good times? I want them back. Picture it, my sucklings. Soon we'll be back on top, sipping bubbly and eating caviar before it hatches. Triton is the only thing that stands in our way. We just need to find the Achilles heel, the soft quivering underbelly beneath all that armor. Let me think. I'll dethrone him. He bone him. And boys, oh boys, we're back in business. All together now. You'll bring the good times back. Resume your wacky fun. Restore the joyful charm of causing harm to everyone. I want to make the merfolk cower like they did in days of yore. Sure, it's sheer abuse of power. So that's what power's for. I want to taste their tears. I want to hear their speech. I want the special rush you get from crutching hope and dreams. It's more than simply sentimental. I mean, Remember those good, good times. times. Oh, yes, they were good times. It's time for more good times. Let's get them back. If only I had a way to make them pay, I'd settle trade and straight. Poison? Sure. Blackmail? Or? His daughters? Maybe. Wait! Why didn't we think of this before? His youngest. The one with the beautiful voice? Which she takes for granted. A woman doesn't know how precious her voice is until it's been stolen. Perhaps we should teach the both of them a lesson. I want the little girl. <laughs> and boys, I want her bad. Ah. I want her sitting here to lure her dear devoted dad. Surprise! I'll spring the trap and get the good times back. I mean, with all the perks, the trident crown, the throne, all oh, mine alone, the whole crown works. But most of all, I want old trident pigs and wriggling on the rack. And fellas, it's my time. Quite frankly, it's my time.
never even met a human, and yet he still thinks the worst of them. He just doesn't understand me. I've never felt at home here. Home's with your family, isn't it? What if home isn't a place you were born? What if it's a place you have to discover for yourself? I'd miss you if you're gone. You would? Not in a dopey way. Not in a silly, I think you're the coolest person around and it's great you let me hang out with her kind of way. Not like that at all. Uh, I gotta go. Bonder, you're very sweet. Daddy's never even met a human. And yet, he still thinks the worst of them. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a girl? A girl who has everything. Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down the, what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. What would I give if I could live out of these waters? What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Bet your own land they'd understand that they don't Reprimand their daughters, bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stay. And ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word? Burn. When's it my turn? What is I? Tell me, child, you got trouble on the mind? Sebastian! Listen, Ariel, that... <laughs> Ariel, what, what is all this? Uh, just a few knickknacks I've collected, that's all. Well, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> well, if only a poor father knew about this, he... Oh, it... no, Sebastian, please! You can't tell him. Ariel, it's time, for my sake as well as your own, it's time you set your mind on your music. Starting now, you'll have... Voice lessons every day, and, and, and maybe pick up an instrument. Something ladylike, like a, uh, like a harp. Or a ship? Yes, a, a harp, that's it. Made out of driftwood and, and decorated with beautiful mother of pearl. No, truly. Ariel? Someone's got to nail that girl's fin to the floor. Ariel! Back in the hatches. 
I don't want to be king. I swore an oath to your father on his deathbed that I'd turn you from an errant rouseabout into a proper royal. So that you're worthy to fill his shoes. Now you're making me queasy. And that's not all. I promised I'd have you married before your next birthday. Married? Our kingdom needs a queen, sire. Have you ever tried to take a princess sailing? It's a joke. The criminals get all caught in the rigging. And most of them can't even swim. <laughs> swim, sire. Is that a prerequisite? Well, sure. If we're gonna go sailing... <sighs> Where am I gonna find a Lucy? A girl is as carefree and alive as the sea itself. Where? Well, what do you know? It's gotta be quiet, they'll hear you. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. We're being in trepidatious. I guess it's too much to hope for, isn't it? Somewhere out there, a girl is a match for a guy like me. Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Oh, me neither. I thought you were an expert. Oh, and to stop sure, but he gads the sight of him. Horrible. That square jaw, those broad shoulders. And two eyeballs that same color. No variety. I don't know. I think he's really handsome. You do? Trust me, Grimsby. When I come across the girl of my dreams, it'll hit me like lightning. Hurricanes are coming. King Drake must be angry indeed. Bats in the hatches. Then everyone below deck and quickly. Eric, take the wheel! The atmosphere oh. goes going haywire! Stop <laughs> Too late? It's hard to say. Oh, uh, I can't hear a heart. Don't worry. One, two, three, four. No scuttle, look. He's breathing. No scuttle. Just look at him. He's, he's so beautiful. Eric, get away, you filthy bird! <laughs> Eric, oh Eric, you just adore making my pulse race, don't you? A girl rescued me. She pulled me up onto the surf, and she was singing. There, there now. You took a terrible tumble, dear boy. <laughs> that voice, I can't get it out of my head. It's the sound of the sea, that's all. No. No, I'll prove it to you. I'll find her, and I'll thank her for saving my life. You'd best come with me. A good night of rest, and you'll be, you'll be brand new. Please, you have to believe me. You've heard too many tall tales, my boy. No, she was real. 
Of course she was. Oh, Eric. Oh, you're heavy. As real as a siren. As real as a mermaid on the rocks. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know something's starting right now. Watch and you'll see. Someday I'll be part of you. as slippery as an eel. Where she run off to now? I gotta, I gotta find her for her daddy goes looking. Oh. Good luck, she's in La La Land. That girl has fallen head over tails in love. <laughs> Ariel in love? 
Come on, Flounder. Who's the lucky merman? Gee, I didn't even know it was love until the second chorus. Uh, but you know her better than anyone. You follow her. Everywhere. Not since she started chasing after humans. <laughs> <laughs> Humans. I hope and pray you didn't just be humans. Uh -oh. And this new love of hers, don't, don't tell me. Don't ask me. He's one of them. Uh, a real human? Like the two second kind? Daddy is going to be ripped. Dating outside of her spaces. Wow, wow, Flounder, you're a regular angel fish. Come on, tell us about it. Water all around you, child. You still got to play with fire. Did she go? Where can she be? When will she come again? Calling to me, calling to me, calling to me. Somewhere there's a girl who's like the shimmer of the wind upon the water. Somewhere there's a girl who's like the glimmer of the sunlight on the sea. Somewhere there's a girl who's like the swell of endless music. Somewhere she is singing and her song is meant for me. And her voice, it's sweet as angels sighing. And her voice, it's warm as summer sky. And that sound, it haunts my dreams and spins me round until it seems I'm flying. Her voice, with all due respect, sire, we've been scouring the sea for weeks, and to what end? I vowed to find her, and I will. I have a better idea. On the eve of your 21st birthday, we'll hold a marvelous ball and invite countless eligible young ladies from far and wide. I knew it. But to sing for you. What? A contest, sire? What better way than to find your mysterious voice? You'll be married by sunset on that very day, just as your father decreed. Yes. Yes, of course. That's how we'll find her. Indeed we shall. You have my word. She's out there somewhere. I just know. I can sense her laughter in the ripple of the waves against the shoreline. I can see her smiling in the moonlight as it settles on the sand. I can feel her waiting just beyond the pale horizon. <laughs> Singing out a melody to love me to withstand. And her voice hits there as dusk is falling. And her voice hits there as dawn steals by. Pure and bright, it's always there, all day, all night. And still I hear it calling. real as the sea if you can hear me now come set me free come set me free
Oh, child, there you are. Oh, give me, give me a second. Oh, a human! You fell in love with a human! I didn't choose it. It just happened. Oh, child. I just thought maybe, just maybe you would be happy for me. Happy. <laughs> happy. Happy for you? Because you're going, but I'm crazy now. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Let me, oh. <laughs> Adio, you need to get your mind out of the clouds and back in the water where it belongs. But I don't belong here. I never did. I don't fit in as hard as I try. If only I could be up there instead. Walking the very same ground he is, breathing the very same air. Down here is your home, okay? The human world up there, life is it's a mess, okay? Life under the sea is so much better than anything they got going on up there. You're wrong, I swear. Believe me, child, it's true. <laughs> Somebody else's lake You dream about going up there But that is a big mistake Just look at the world around ya Right here on the ocean floor Such wonderful things around ya What more is you looking for? Another sea Another sea oh, Darling, it's better down where it's wetter Take it from me up on the shore they work all day Out in the sun they slave away While we devoted full time to floating under the sea Down here all oh, the fish is happy As all through the wind they roll The fish on the land ain't happy It's hard for they in the bowl But fish in the bowl is lucky They in for a lesser fate One day when the boss gets hungry Guess who gonna be on the plate? Uh -oh. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Nobody beat us, fry us, or eat us in big as sea. We want the land for love to cook. <laughs> Under the sea, we all cook. We got no troubles. Life is the bubbles. Under the sea. Under the sea. Life is sweet, and we got the base naturally. Even the surgeon and the ray, they get the urge and start to play. We got the spirit, you got to hear it under the sea. The new play, the flute, the card play, the harp, the blade play, the bass, 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 the Melt and the sprat, they know where it's at And all oh, that blow is blow! Sea. 
one night at sea When the sardine began to burn green It's music to me What did they got a lot to send We got our whole crustacean band Each of those clams learn know how to rock here Under the sea Each of those clams here know how to jam here Under the sea We got our whole crustacean band here Under the sea Eat a toast and nail here, no hell to wear here, that's why it's hot there, under the water, yeah, we in love here, down in the mud here, under the sea, child. That's what I'm talking about. Ariel? Hello? Where is she? Where? There! <laughs> You just miss her, she, she slip away. She thinks she betray her family this way, that she turn her back on her own kind. But she can't help it, Sarah. I she taught her myself, and now she makes a mockery of everything I hold dear. Now, where is she hiding? Oh, where is she? <laughs> if only I knew. <laughs> she keeps secrets from me, but not from you. I'll wager you know where she is. Now take me to her. To think this belonged to him once. He held this in his own two hands. Ariel! Ariel! Tell the truth. Did you save a human from drowning? Who told? Which one of you? I'm sorry, Ariel. I'm nothing but a guppy. Just a lousy, lousy guppy. You get every single solo, and it's not fair. All right. Leave us alone. You too, Sebastian. So, did you? I had to save the you prince. You had to? Without me, he would have perished. He's a human. You're a mermaid. You can't blame all humans for just a few wicked ones. You can hate them, but it's just not in me. They catch us with their hooks. They pierce us with their blades. They're not all like that. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? We don't know for certain. Can there be any doubt? She leaves one morning for an innocent swim and never returns. You can't prove. I know it's in my heart. Now murderers, all of them. You can't blame all humans for just a few wicked ones. I won't have you build a shrine to them. Worshipping their rubbish. The debris that sullies our waters. Daddy, no. The totems of their decadence. Never again, Ariel! Never again! No! <sighs> he ruined all my things. My human stuff. If he really, truly loved me, he would never... Oh, child, it's because he loves you. Well, he sure has a funny way of showing it. He can break every treasure I own, but he can't break me. Oh, yes, but you may just break his heart, Ariel. And you, some friend you turned out to be, bringing him here to my special place. It's for your own good, child. I pray you wake up from this madness and soon. You'll tread in some dangerous waters here. doesn't really care. He doesn't want to know. I hate him. Yes, I hate him. A 
how I hate him so. Oh, what I would give if only I could go. Poor child. Poor sweet child. She has a very serious problem, hasn't she? Mm, if only there were something we could do. Who are you two? Sweet child. Poor oh, child. So tragic. So misunderstood. Dear child. Sad child. Life's looking, shall we say, not good. No. Who's a rose and worry? Who will help her get her man? Sweet child, perhaps the sea witch can. The sea witch? You can't mean Auntie Ursula. She knows your dreams. Father says her magic is evil. She'll grant your prayer. Please, I have to go. She'll cast a charm. A tiny spell. Why is you alarm? No one will tell. No one will care. It's your affair, sweet child. Child, dear child. Poor child. Sad child. We'll, we'll bring you to her lair right now. Then you have to set your prince and you are at Together. Forever. Take me to her. Oh, mistress of the deep, you a visitor. I'm not so sure. Now, now, mustn't get cold things. Don't be shy, Ariel, darling. It's me, your Auntie Ursula. I, I shouldn't be here. Nonsense, we're family. Father says your magic is wicked and hateful. Mm, yes, but he says the same things of humans, doesn't he, Schnookum? And we both know that's not true, don't we? Why did he banish you? The ocean wasn't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> and now he's driven you away too. He doesn't understand me. Oh, but I do, Dumpling. We're both so alike, you and I, gals with ambition. Nothing scares a man more, does it? Now, tell your old auntie everything. I'm in love with someone, a human. Oh, yes, this prince fellow, he's quite a catch. I know just the thing. You must become human yourself. Can you help me? Help you, my dear sweet child. It's what I live for, to help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past they've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True, yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh, I use it on behalf. The miserable, the lonely, and depressed. Pathetic, poor, unfortunate soul. This 
one longing to be thin, and that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor and poor Johnnets sold, it sounds but true. They come flocking to my cauldron, great bells, I feel a please, and do I help them? Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice, someone couldn't pay the price, and my friend I had already come across the call. Though I've had the odd complaint, and on the whole I've been a saint. Those poor unfortunate souls. Now, here's my best offer, baby kids. I know a spell that will turn you into a human for three days. It does have a procedural clause, sort of a squid pro quo. Before the sun sets on the third day, you must get dear Princey to kiss you. If you do, you stay human forever. And if I don't? Nothing drastic, I'm sure, dear. Oh, look, small prince. Your soul is mine forever, and you're doomed to spend eternity in my watery hell-soaked lair. Lawyers, don't you love them? There is one more thing. My fee. But I, I don't have anything. Oh, it's nothing much, darling. Just your voice. My, my voice? Don't worry, I have the perfect place for it. Your grandpappy Poseidon gave his trident to your father, but this was his gift for moi. Your magic shell? You've heard of it. Father says it's the source of all your witchcraft. Nonsense, darling. He says you'd die without it. Die? It's a bubble, a vessel for your voice, your vibrato, your legato, even your belt. We'll all be safe and sound in here. If I trade away my voice, how will I ever... Have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. The men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land it's much preferred for women not to say a word. And after all, they're what is idle prattle for? Come on, they're not in the press of conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't tune and fawn on the lady who's withdrawn. For she who holds her tongue will get a man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead. Make your choice. I'm a very busy woman, and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much. Just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross the bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Flotsam, jetsam, now I got a boy. The box is on a roll. You poor unfortunate Cupcake. If I become human, I'll never see my family again. My sisters, even my father. Now, do you want Princey Poo or not? Five, four, three, two. Yes! Yes, I'll do it. Where do I sign? Not any ink, dear. Use mine. Sing your voice over to me. Keep singing. <laughs> 